500 hours, that's how long I have been printing on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. I paid for the printer with my own money, no sponsorship, no freebies, and when I got it, I was just a complete beginner to 3D printing. Since then, I've printed nearly every single day from fun little gadgets, like dragons and stuff, to functional parts and items that I've started selling. But now that I've hit 500 hours, was the A1 Mini worth it? Let me break it down. The good, the bad, and whether I'd still recommend it for your first 3D printer. So why did I choose the A1 Mini? I wanted something that's a little compact, reliable, and beginner friendly. I didn't want to mess with a bunch of settings and manual calibrations and random tunings. I just wanted to print. A1 Mini stood out because it was auto bed leveling, fast print speeds, and was super clean set up. All in a small footprint of my little office I got. And coming from Bamboo Lab, a brand, a solid rep, I felt more confident taking the plunge as a total newbie. The setup was totally simple, easier than I expected. The touch screen made it so flawlessly to set up, and Bamboo Labs made it plug and play. I was expecting a headache, but within 30 minutes, I had my first print. Was it perfect? No, but for someone who'd never used a 3D printer before, I was excited. It was awesome. Yeah. And that momentum helped, really helped me stay motivated, keep printing, learning. Now, 500 hours later, here's what I can say from experience. Reliability, solid. I've had a few failed prints, but they're all mostly my fault. You know, you person. Maintenance, I think I've foiled it maybe five times maybe. I've only had it for a month and I've done yeah, 500 hours and I barely touch it for maintenance. Um, I just keep cleaning the plate, the nozzle, making sure there's no clogs and yeah, noise. Quiet enough to be in my little office and the kids room next door. Doesn't cause any issues. Print quality, I can't fault it. Honestly, cannot fault it. Prints come out clean, consistent and I barely have any, I've had no clogs at all. Um, I had a few issues with plate adhesion but I sorted that pretty quick. Um, it's not perfect, and here's what I don't love. First, the build volume. It's 180 by 180, which is good enough for most things, but it does have its limits. If you want to print larger models, you're going to be really restricted. Second, there's no AMS. I didn't buy the AMS because I didn't think I needed it, um, but if you want to print multicolor, I highly recommend getting the AMS, um, purely for color swapping. It's uh, Kind of tedious changing the filament every single time you want to do it. Um, and finally, the Bamboo Studio. It's amazing. Um, hands on, just beginner 3D printing, and I've, I've learnt so much in the month of using it. Um, I don't know, I've tried Orca, but it didn't let me print because you had to do the whole the new updates and you can't, can't use it now. Um, but for someone with no, no experience, um, yeah, perfect. It even helped kick off my 365-day 3D printing challenge. You can check that out in my shorts. Um, I'll leave that right here as a link. And I'm printing something new every single day, functional, also play. And it, and it hasn't stopped. It's just been running constantly. Like This is probably the first longest it's been not printing for. Um, if you're new to 3D printing and you want something reliable, easy to use, plug and play, this is a fantastic place to start. For 330 Australian dollars, I can't fault it at all. Um, but if you need a bigger build area, and multicolor printing, you can still use this one, but multicolor. But you know, the A1 is probably a bit more versatile and uh, forward planning. 500 hours in, and I'm um, still printing daily and haven't had issues. Um, thanks for watching. And if you're into 3D printing and want to see what I'm making next, follow along, subscribe, that bell icon, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.